My name is Allison Fensterstock. I was the co-writer and editor of Ten Ford Buck and Lucky Johnson's book, The Definition of Mounts, and I'm a music writer at the Times Picayune in New Orleans. Book. I think I think the since Buck and Lucky and GK started working on it was almost three years. Like after I came in, I think it was just under a year from like me getting on it to actual publication. I might be wrong, but I think that was about it. I don't think they had a storyline in mind when they brought me on. I think that's why like our interviews were kind of almost like free associative. It was just like, I'm gonna come over to the restaurant with my tape recorder and we'll just start talking about, you know, what was it like when you were growing up in the St. Thomas? What was the first concert you remember hearing? Like, what clubs did everybody go to? Yeah, and then when you ask questions like that, the stories start to come out and then you really get narrative out of it. So, yeah, the storyline evolved just through talking. And the timeline was already started. They had already gotten a couple of people to put together parts of the timeline. And then I jumped on and I edited some out and added some stuff in and called people to check on dates and facts and stuff like that. So yeah, it just all kind of came together organically, I guess. There wasn't really a plan for it. I spent a lot of time with Buck and with Lucky just recording them, like having them dictate the book and free associate or just kind of just in, trying to interview them and prompt them to tell stories about, you know, their life in the New Orleans bounce scene, which that wound up being like a lot more efficient than just having them sit down and write. And then we were able to, you know, we transcribed the whole thing and we tried we edited it together to try to create the storyline and we sent it back and forth to each other. So that's kind of how it worked. And the timeline in the middle was kind of, that came out of a whole, just like all the interviews I had done. Because I was like in the middle of just talking to all these people about New Orleans hip hop in the 80s and 90s. So I was able to pull out just like events that were important or, you know, show dates that were significant. And we had a bunch of other people that worked on it too. Like this guy Colin Manhini, who's the most amazing record collector of New Orleans hip hop I've ever met. Like he kind of went through his collection and pulled stuff out so we could check it and be like, oh, that's the label, that's the date. This was a really important, like, you know, that this was an important release, throw that in the timeline. So it was actually a really collaborative book. I mean, besides me and Buck and Lucky, there were a whole bunch of other people that, that put something into it as well. I mean, I guess it was when Buck and Lucky signed off on it, you know, because I, I sent them the transcription that I had edited to look at, and I think they had some comments, and um, kind of we changed it a little bit. We didn't do a whole bunch of editing, though. Like, we pretty much all just looked at it together <clears throat> and sort of maybe rearranged the order of some things a little bit. I think we did that. And then I think GK also did some editing as well at the end. But, um, and then, yeah, there was a point where they were just like, I, this is cool, you know, we've gotten, it was more Buck's kind of life story, it was him as a character, we had all that in there, we had a good amount of that in there, and then we had Lucky coming in, bringing in some more external context stuff, like, I mean, he, his sections of the book have a lot of really good insight in, like, a global sense as to, like, what the music meant and kind of what the greater scene was like. So when we had those elements together, you know, and they already had the photos, that was pretty much like, it's been three years, let's get this book out. <laughs> hey, uh, my name is Allison Fensterstock, and you are on MightyMusic.com, where you can learn about the definition of bounce, the book that I co-edited with Tenth Ward Buck and Lucky Johnson. In stores now. <laughs>